Oh, but you have one that we got to get to right now. Big, right. big team spirit on this one. Let's talk about big school team. spirit. Some people embrace it. Some people refuse to go to their class reunions. But there is a young man <laughs> at Harvard High School that has embraced such a simple concept, and he's taking it to new heights. If you're from Hubbard, or maybe even your school is in the Northeast 8 Conference, chances are you've seen the Hubbard Eagle. Now meet the man under the mask, who's taking flight in his community and around the area. We're in Boardman, Austin Town. I'll be in Hermitage tonight. You know, we're doing all these different, you know, events where you're proud to have, you know, the Hubbard Eagle at your school. But it wasn't always this way. So coming into my eighth grade year, we had no one to do the Eagle. So we started uh, my eighth grade year with no eagle. Our home opener game, we actually had no one who wanted to do it, and I offered to be our eagle. Our band director realized, you know, hey, you know, you guys aren't really up for it. We're gonna bring in this eighth grader who actually has a passion and asked about it before. Getting the job was one thing, changing the perception is another. When we started with, you know, my generation of the eagle, I wanted to provide something for the whole community and something for every sport team that we have. I really wanted to bring a character to the table because before it was just, you know, the eagle, he kind of walked around. It wasn't even really a Hubbard eagle mm -hmm. because he didn't have a jersey. Mm -hmm. He didn't have any outfits, you know, any of that cool stuff that we try to provide for him now. And it's safe to say the perception has now been changed. The other students uh, from eighth grade year it was more of a kick in the face to me when I first started. Why is that? Because it was an eighth grader doing it. It was the school mask, you know, the stereotypical loser type, you know, scenario. And then my eighth grade year, you know, we started, we cleaned him up, we got him a jersey, we got him ready. He started going to these events, and now this year, I have, you know, a student section backing me up. Isaac worked with his athletic director to create a whole new costume for the Eagle. And when he changes into that, Isaac changes too. I truly believe that when that head is on, I'm a completely different person. You do not see the Hubbard Eagle walking around the school when I don't have it on. I, actually, there's some dance moves where I can't even get myself to do when I don't have it on. Oh, there are plenty of dance moves, all right. The Eagle does the worm. We try, we try to um, limit the times that I do it because oh. it's supposed to be something special. We have the tail wag, which is like the Eagle just kind of turns his body around and he shakes his tail, you know, and it just kind of goes back and forth like, uh -huh. like a hummingbird or something like that. And then, you know, he has, you know, the occasional uh, belly shake. He shakes his belly up and down and, you know, that gets everyone laughing. He even took a little time out of his busy routine to teach me a dance called the floss. There's something about this soccer player, band member, and drama club star that makes you want to join in. Ah, oh, Eagle, you're the best. The crowd is laughing, and now Isaac gets the last laugh. The Eagle gets to fly to Disney in May and be one of only four in the country at a national mascot competition. Oh my gosh, I'm thrilled. Like, I can't even believe this is actually happening. Like. Last year, I wouldn't have even thought that this was possible. I didn't even think I'd be able to run out with the football team this year. Like that's So just taking those big steps to first not even having like a jersey for the Eagle to wear, getting kicked out on bleachers, stuff like that, to now the city embracing me and now possibly getting an award to be top mascot in the country is just outstanding. I actually had a kid who went up in another uh, basketball player's face because, you know, you looked at our eagle the wrong way. So, like, now we actually have support behind it because it's a pride in the school. And there are talks in the works. He's so looking cool. to go to Ohio State and possibly be the most famous mascot of all, Brutus the Buckeye. Oh, how great would that be? Wouldn't that be wonderful? It would be wonderful. Good yeah. luck. Good luck to him.